everyone knows how to search for images, but did you know that you can do lots of different things with within image search? So first of all, in Google, I'm going to search for elephants. Now when I do that search, I'm getting everything. And so if I want only images, I will click the tab up here that says images and I come up with lots of different elephant pictures. I'm going to start over again just for the heck of it and I because I want to show you how you can go directly to images by clicking up in the we'll go and do that again in the top right where it says images and now again I'll type elephants and I come up with the elephant pictures again but now's where the fun happens. If you go to search tools, you can zero in on the size of the image. So if I want large pictures or large images so that I can really project them on a screen without losing quality, that is where I would do that. I can specify the size. I can specify lots of different things. If I want to specify a color, I can look for blue elephants. I can look for pink elephants. I can look for green elephants. Or I could look for any color of elephant. However you want to do that. The type of elephant, I can look for elephant faces. Well, those don't look like elephants, so I guess that one didn't work that well. I can look for photos. I can look for clip art. Say, for example, I want um, line drawings because my granddaughter wants to color a picture of an elephant and I don't have a coloring book handy. Here we are. Or I can look for animations. And we'll see how that works. And there we have the animation. I'm not sure where the elephant is, but we have the animation. So, of course, no search is perfect, but it is still fun, and we can zero in on what we want. Let's go back up to the top here. I can look for time. I can look for when things have last been published. Let's just go back to any type. Um, I can look for usage rights. And this is important because we need to be respectful of other people's um, creations. And we should not be using materials without asking permission. Now, if they're labeled for reuse or non-commercial reuse, we still need to give credit where it's due, but we don't necessarily need to ask permission. And oftentimes the directions on how to cite the sources will be given when you look further. And then we have more tools and we can show. Now it is showing the actual sizes. So if, for example, I want a clip art blue elephant, there I am. Lots of different things to choose from. And clear that search tools and I think that about covers a lot of the different ways that we can look for images.